Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Romani. The sun is doing its thing and my roots are puffy because I need a retwist, but we're gonna do this video because I need to get this info out to y'all. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I'm a personal trainer and I offer workout plans and meal plans and shapewear and all the things, but I have not always been this healthy young woman that presents herself in front of you today. But before we get into all of that, I wanna let you know that there are timestamps on this video if you want to listen to a specific part but of course I want you to watch this entire video because I have good things to say and I have a promo code for you at the end of this video for my workout plans and my meal plans and my waist trainers and all of that so before I tell you what I did to lose the weight I want to tell you how I actually got in the position of needing to lose that weight throughout my entire life I was always overweight I was overweight as a child and that doesn't mean that I was super huge but I was bigger than the kids around me and compared to the BMI like the average BMI I was overweight and of course this became a normal part of my life to always need larges or extra larges and to always be the bigger person out of my friend group but I did not feel comfortable with that like I had gotten used to it but it wasn't a comfortable feeling especially because you know that kids can be rude so if you get into it with somebody what's the first thing they gonna do they're gonna call you fat and even if it doesn't bother you the first time after the 15th time that somebody says that to you it's gonna make you feel some type of way and as you get older you start to and you start to really just know yourself and try to like come into your body and come into womanhood. You just want to be the healthiest version of you. And that is why I wanted to lose the weight. So I was in high school, maybe my ninth or 10th grade year of high school. And I ended up wanting to lose the weight because I was tired of experiencing that. And I don't want to make it seem like I was always getting bullied because I really was not always getting bullied. I was a very popular kid growing up but still when you get into it with somebody they're gonna make fun of your weight you know and so in high school i finally had enough and i was like okay we need to buckle down and really get serious because i had tried to be serious a few times about it but i never made it past like day three or day four of my journey but this time i was really committed to being serious and i'm 24 now so it's been a very long time since i've been in high school but i've been able to maintain this healthy lifestyle and i'll make some other videos updating y'all on what i do now but this video is specifically about what I initially did to lose that initial amount of weight in high school when I dropped the 30 pounds in two months. Before we jump into that, I have a disclaimer disclaimer this is what i did you don't have to do this you don't have to believe in any of the things that i'm saying these things work for me and my body and i mean my clients also do them and get results from my methods too but whatever disclaimer that was the disclaimer so don't be cutting up in my comments all right so the first thing that i did to lose 30 pounds in two months was i started consuming so much water and i put the other liquids on the back burner i was not drinking anything other than water and i was drinking a gallon of water a day and that's something that I still do to this day not because I need to do it but I just really got in the habit of drinking a gallon of water a day my skin loves it my body loves it and it's a habit for me so it's not a problem for me and I say that because when I talk about drinking a gallon of water a day especially on TikTok like people will be in the comments like oh if you eat more fruit you don't have to drink a lot of water drinking a lot of water is not a problem for me and I always question why it's a problem for y'all to drink a lot of water it's not not an issue as long as you're not overdoing it a gallon of water a day is not overdoing it but as long as you're not overdoing it and you're drinking a safe amount of water for your body weight you're okay not to mention I'm a yoga teacher I work out so like I'm always moving so I need water but I really used to be a soda girl well I say soda but I say soda now but I'm I say pop because I'm from the Midwest but I used to be a soda pop type of girl after every day of high school even middle school I would come home and my parents if you know me you know my parents keep the fridge stacked my parents had like hella pop in there and I got so addicted to Mountain Dews and I would literally drink a Mountain Dew every day after school I don't think I was too big on juice I was very big on soda though and of course I wasn't big on alcohol because I was in high school and I wasn't drinking but soda was my main jam so first thing I did started drinking a gallon of water a day no soda no juice no none of that just water the second thing that I did was stop eating fast food and I still don't don't eat fast food to this day now there have been times in between like in between the years where I've had fast food like in college and stuff like that but 
when I was initially losing my weight and now me as an adult, I do not eat fast food. And that helped me out so much because I was so big on fast food, especially like Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's. I was so big on it. Like I always ate fries and chicken nuggets and you gotta get a milkshake or you gotta do this. Oh, I was so big on Taco Bell too. And then Baja Blast, little freeze things had me in a chokehold, but I had to let it go. And I stopped eating my school's lunch because my school's lunch used to be busting. We had chicken wings, fries, like we had all the things when I got to high school. I went to high school in Michigan. We had all the things. And so I started bringing my lunch to school and my lunch consisted of a sandwich or a salad. I might've had a sandwich and a salad every day. No, I would have a salad on some days and then I would have a sandwich and some chips on on another day. And of course I would bring a bottle of water and that would really be all that I would have for lunch. And then as far as dinner, I would, well, this kind of goes into number three. I'm looking down because I have my notes. This kind of goes into number three, but I'll try not to make it go into number three. But I would have a healthy meal for dinner most times. And then I would have a smoothie if I didn't have a healthy meal. And since I was in high school, I was pretty reliant on my mom. And so my mom knew I was on my health kick. And so she would be cooking healthy meals for me and we wouldn't really be eating out a lot. And then she was also trying to be on her health kick too. So she would be cooking healthy for the whole house. And then if she didn't feel like cooking, I, like I said, I was in high school. So I was becoming a young adult, need to learn how to cook. So I started making my, famous meal salmon rice and broccoli and if my friends are watching this they're gonna be like girl like the salmon are endangered because of you and I y'all know like I don't eat meat at all or anything right now but like salmon has me in a chokehold nonetheless this is not about that I was making salmon rice and broccoli and that was really my staple meal like if my mom couldn't cook that's what I was cooking I was tearing it up but yeah no fast food making all my food and like I said that brings me to number three so number three is I replaced at least one meal a day with a smoothie many times my mom did cook or I did cook but sometimes I would just have a smoothie instead so I would either have a smoothie for breakfast this lunch or dinner but I would make sure to have at least one smoothie a day and this allowed me to decrease my calories and still get full and that's why I was able to lose that weight my smoothie videos are pretty popular on TikTok if you need some like smoothie recipes, but typically what I use right now is, like my staple recipe right now is frozen bananas, frozen blueberries, almond milk or oat milk, almond butter, protein powder, and a little greens powders. All right, number four, I exercised every single day without any breaks. Now, I know that that sounds crazy and I know some people are gonna be like, oh, your body needs a break. This was years and years ago. We can't go back and change the past. I don't exercise every single day now but I was exercising every single day and I would like to say I was doing body weight exercises with about three to five pounds so I was not doing heavy weight lifting because back when I was in high school it wasn't very popular for girls to lift heavy weights like girls were on some doing 100 squats a day trying to grow but like it wasn't heavy weight lifting like we do now and the reason that I don't exercise every day now is mainly because I need rest days because I lift very heavy weights and I'm also a yoga teacher so my body is really getting put through the ringer every single day so I really need breaks but back then I was very committed so I was exercising every single day and I didn't even have a gym membership I was exercising in my room every single day. So I literally lost these 30 pounds exercising at home. That's why I hate when people tell me that they can't do home exercises. That's why I offer home workout plans on my website because I'm like, you can absolutely lose the weight, gain the weight, whatever you want to do at home in your house. Now me, I prefer to have a gym membership now just because I love lifting heavy weights and I love leaving the house. But if you don't have a gym membership, don't be letting that stop you. And now that I'm thinking about it, I was sometimes exercising twice a day because I'm also a dancer and I was dancing like five days out the week if you were a young competition dancer then you know you got ballet tap jazz hip-hop lyrical you have all the things on all the days so I was dancing at least four to five times a week on top of coming home from dance to actually work out because I needed to make sure that I got my workout done and me working out every day actually is what started my very first online program, the 30 day weight loss plan, because I would have my clients work out for 30 days straight. And I still don't even think that that's a bad idea, especially when you're not using weights, because it gets your body in the swing of things. I know like 
that's what motivated me to really lose this weight because I would write down like day one, day two, day three, and I would cross it out as I would do it. And it was just very helpful. But I know like if I missed one day, I was not going back the following day. So as a beginner, I do think that it's helpful to work out every single day as long as you're doing things that is not going to like completely like deplete your body. And number five, last but not least, I wore a waist trainer. Now I know that this can be a little controversial, but personally, I don't care. I'm not here to debunk any myths or anything that you got going on when it comes to waist trainers I literally don't care I wore a waist trainer then I wear waist trainers now and I also have my own line of waist trainers which I actually like a little bit better because I get to like manufacture it and see how I want it to be how I want it to feel so it's a little bit different than when I was waist training back then because them waist trainers back when I was in high school used to be a little crazy because we just found out about waist training but like now it's different we have the sweat belts and all that but I waist trained about four hours a day it really depends because in high school I was crazy so I might have did more than four hours because I used to waist train through high school like it sounds crazy now but I used to literally like sit in class waist trainer on because I was so serious about losing this weight but I waist trained and I loved it I still love waist training like right now I might waist train like three hours out the day with my actual waist trainer and then I wear like my glow with row fitness that's my business my glow with row fitness triple strap like sweat belt during my workouts but I love waist training I love the way that it like makes me sweat it's almost like a retainer like it keeps your body where it needs to be and I don't have no problems with it so that was number five your girl was waist training that was everything that I did to lose 30 pounds in two months now things have changed a lot of things have changed since I lost that initial weight in high school because that was almost how old am I girl I've been out of high school for seven years so a lot has changed and of course I'll make some videos like giving you just some different things that I do now like today my routine today but this is what I did initially to lose that weight since losing that weight I have started a personal training business we just hit our five-year anniversary glow with row fitness I know a lot of y'all follow me and I really appreciate you and I appreciate y'all for just continuing to support my business if you've never heard of my business I offer in-person training in Los Angeles California virtual training via FaceTime or Zoom I offer online fitness programs that's pretty much my most popular thing and you can just download it and you can keep it forever like I have girls who have had a plan for me for like five years now so like you can literally keep it forever as long as you keep that document and I offer shapewear so like different waist trainers I have waist trainers for working out for just lounging around like I have all the things I'm gonna leave everything in the description box below and you can use the code YouTube for some money off your order that is all for this video let me know how you feel about it in the comments I hope that something helped you I hope that you can resonate with something and I will see you in my next video